If you think Alexander Fleming was the first to discover penicillin, guess again. Meet the actual first discoverer of penicillin. His name was Dr. Clodomiro Bicardo. No, no relation to that guy. And in the early 1920s, he was already famed for developing a whole host of anti-snake venom drugs. Bicardo was born in San Marcos, Nicaragua, in 1887. But when he was two years old, his family moved to Costa Rica, where he would eventually receive a diploma in zoology in 1909. He would also receive a degree in botany after that, and by 1913, he had achieved the rank of doctor in science. The man's scientific research was extensive. He wrote about 115 research papers and studied everything from soil and fauna to human tissue. His research notes, dating back to 1923, not only demonstrate his discovery of penicillin as an antibiotic, but his use of it as a compound to treat infections, making him the very first doctor to use penicillin to treat patients. And not this guy, as the records officially state. <laughs> Dr. Picardo traveled to Paris, France, where he demonstrated the power of penicillin to the biological society there. This was in 1927, an entire year before Fleming made his accidental discovery of penicillin. That demonstration was published by the Biology Society of Paris in 1927. So for the life of me, I still don't understand why Fleming gets all the credit for being the first when he wasn't. Picardo died in 1944. That same year, the government of Costa Rica declared him moratorious of the motherland. Yeah!